Do you believe in star signs? I do to an extent. Yeah. yeah I think you can't take it too seriously at times. Yeah. But I do think, you know, we are all, uh, especially to do with the, the sun and the moon and, uh, and the stars, we are 90% you know, water, so yeah. we are very much in line with that. Okay, your idol. Do you have an idol? I, when I, I'll be honest with you. You don't have to have one. When I was younger, right, and you knew this, you know this anyway. When I was really young, I always used to look up to you because oh. I was really just like you, right? Oh. right? As I got a bit older, right? I okay, you poor thing. <laughs> no, but I was young. The mirror just cracked every time. And all I wanted to be was a. Because you, you were a singing teacher and all of that. So, yeah. Thank you. That's very really good. That's very good. But I'm probably now. My mum, I don't know. She's been through so much and I look up to her for that. That's fantastic. Yeah. That That's really good. I think a lot of those. Uh, the. Um, the, the simple things in life are often the best, and, and when you when you actually see someone, you know, working through different issues or, or it, part their life situations, and you see yeah. them get through that, you'll learn a lot through that. So that's fantastic. Very very good. Alrighty, I really I love this question. I love asking this question. If you had a dinner party mm -hmm. and you could invite two famous people. Who would they be and why? Ooh. Okay. If they had to be singers, it would be Ed Sheeran and Nick. Just because I'd love to sing with them. Like, could you imagine Pink's Hot Singers with Ed Sheeran playing the guitar? It'd be incredible. Right. They should do a song together, shouldn't they? Yeah. And I would want to sing with them too. Yes. Yeah. That, that's why. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay, yeah, that'd be that'd be a. Uh, I think Pink would be. I think she'd be the bit of the party, and or she'd be into the tequila sunrises uh, and and, she'd and be going. Into the shots. Yeah, so, I reckon. I reckon so. Yeah. Ed would probably be a bit more laid back. No, he's into beer. Is he? Yeah. Do you have a celebrity crush? Not really. Or have you had a celebrity crush? It's more so. I'm like, oh, they're good looking. Like, but it's not really like. Oh my god. If it was a girl, it'd be pink, right? If it was a boy, it'd be Zach Efron. Can you invite me who's Zach? Is it Zach Efron? Efron. Okay, but it's is he, is, he, is he the Afro American model? No. No? Okay. He, okay, so he, not when he was in high school musical, right? I uh, More yeah. so like when he's in like Dirty Grandpa and that type. So he's an actor? Yeah, he's in Neighbours. You know the movie Neighbours? No. Bad neighbours? No. Okay, we need to watch some TV. Yeah, I do. I haven't owned a TV for the last eight I years. Shortly though. Shortly. <laughs> Shortly next month I will. Okay. Ah. Favourite leisure activity or hobby besides singing? Stuff you do like needlework? No, I'm also like we. I was here to the craft shop and we get like all different types of little packs and then um, we always put make and put them together. I think recently she wanted pillows, so we made pillows and. Fantastic. Like that. Just on that subject, mm -hmm. you have a, um, a a son and a daughter. Yep. Are they singing? Are, do they are they interested in? Singing? Are they following like your yep. passion? Are they are? My daughter, yes, she sings all the time. And I sit there and do scales with it so she doesn't ask her. Wow. Yeah. And she's singing songs? Yeah. Wow. She'll hear go. Do you have a personal motto that you live by? And if so, what is it? I also live every day to the fullest. I don't really. Yeah. I don't, I don't really have one that I follow every day. Yeah. And I take it to heart, but I just really go with the flow, really. I have one, I'm not going to, I'll, I'll say in my, but I know, I'll say in my interview, but when I get up in the morning, I put my feet on the ground, and I say thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Then I get up and I say thank you, because I'm here, and I appreciate it. Oh, that's good, man. And you do stay positive as well. I try to. Yeah. To the best of my ability. Yeah, SP. SP, yes, yes. It's just, 
one of my things that I've written there, stay positive, also that, that stands for stay present yeah. as well too, which um, I have to probably thank Urquhart Toll for that. Again, geez, we're plugging a lot of people here. He was actually in town yesterday and I didn't go and see him. Um, but definitely staying present is, is a big one for me and trying to stay in the moment and not think too far ahead or, or think about the past is a, is a very big one. But let's not get too, too, uh, too deep here because this is about you, not about me. Yeah. Okay. Your fondest slash best memory ever to do with anything. Um, I kind of have two. One will be my wedding day. Yep. Um, but then probably when I had my um, daughter, really, yeah. Yeah, so your first one. Yeah. Your biggest life changing moment. When I became mum, yeah. definitely. Yeah, it definitely does change things change when you become a parent. Yeah. Yep, yep, it does. Your most embarrassed, uh, embarrassing. <laughs> my hair's so high. <laughs> <laughs> your your most embarrassing moment. Okay. So I got many. But, <laughs> but <clears throat> probably one that stands out is when I walked into a pole outside cash converters at Knox. And then my mum was like to me, Don't worry, no one's all. But I like rebounds back. The whole pole was like bent like this. And my arms like, don't worry, no one's all just get up. I had a like a like a, a Easter egg on my head. Oh my god. And everyone from Cash Converters comes running out saying, Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm like, I thought no one's her about it. I thought they did it. And everyone was stopping me and trying to put ice on my head. It was the most embarrassing thing ever. The whole pole, the pole is still like this at night. <laughs> In memory of Danielle. Yeah. So, Go for the, so the pole cut come off second best, Danielle. Yeah. <laughs> I was walking full force into it. Like I was like, bang, and I fell back. It's not so hard, I hit it. Yeah, it was really funny. <laughs> Think about it now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Your favourite travel destination or holiday destination? Well, I haven't really been very far. Yep. I've only really been, the farthest I've been is around Australia. Yeah. I would love to go to LA. Yeah. To Disneyland. Yeah. More so tech. I said to my kids, but I would really, really, really love to go. Yeah. <laughs> but I always would be Queensland. So you want to go to Disneyland? That's that's the thing. I'm gonna go to Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. So is it to go to LA or just to go to Disneyland? Because you know you can go to you know, closer destinations that have no, Disneyland. No, like, LA. Like Japan. Uh, yeah. 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 I took it. LA is. America is a fantastic place. Yeah, it definitely is. Very good, very, very good. Okay. Uh, your favourite sport to watch? And do you even watch sport, Danielle? Uh, not really. No. I only because I have to. Like, it's not that I have to, but it's on TV. Yeah. So, the majority of the time, I see them live. Yeah. And you're, you're a blue supporter. I know you're a long time mm. blue supporter. Yeah. From, dad, from your dad. dad yeah. <laughs> I've known that since you were that high. Okay. Your opinion about the state of the world? That's really a non brain. It's really nuts at the moment, isn't it? It's nuts. I think it always it has been for a while. I think it just goes in waves of being mm. more nuts. Yeah. I think with the, uh, the situation with uh, North Korea and America, America and in Russia and like that, it's it's a little scary at the moment. And yeah. Everything that's happening over in in, uh, in Turkey and France. Mm -hmm. One thing that would make the world a better place. Everyone got along. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's pretty simple. It's your own song about it. It's pretty simple. And everyone just kept their opinions. It's about people voicing each other's opinions and. You just need to keep your opinion. It's your opinion. You keep it. You can voice your opinion, yeah, but it's your opinion. So someone else shouldn't crack the shit over your opinion. Excuse me for saying that way. <laughs> PG. Keep it PG. <laughs> I do <laughs> Okay. Do you have a, a charity or an organisation?
organisation or something that's close to your heart that you would like to mention? Um, I always, I always like the Ron McDonald House and Starlight Foundation. Also, mainly because it's for kids and things like that. And I've got kids, and I know if my kids were sick or anything, I would. Yeah. I feel sorry for them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but otherwise, probably the Heart Foundation, that type of stuff, because my heart condition and that. And yeah. 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 Fantastic. Very good. So give generously to those those appeals there if uh, if they're ever knocking on your door and you see them. Okay, let's wrap it up. Anything else that you would like to share with the viewers finally? Um, come to Voxie Academy. <laughs> yes, if you're interested in singing lessons, come to Voxie Academy. We love what we do, as you can tell by the interviews with the, uh, the teachers here. So, yes. And you'll get me on the phone and it's friendly. Yes, <laughs> you will. Or maybe Rance on a Friday, or, or me if I'm filling in somewhere. Yeah. Thank you, Danielle. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. It's a pleasure having you on board. Mm -hmm. You're a very important and integral member of the team, and I appreciate you very much. Mm -hmm. Signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>